This video covers everything you need to know about Gmail. We'll discuss why having a Gmail account is great and show you how to create one. We'll also guide you in choosing the best email address and introduce you to the top productivity add-ons for Gmail. Plus, we'll share some handy tips and tricks to make your Gmail experience even better. Here are some awesome perks of using Gmail. First, you get 15 gigabytes of storage, which should be more than enough for years to come. Gmail is browser-based, so it loads quickly and can be accessed from any device. Gmail is incredibly reliable with rarely any crashes or downtime. You can customize your inbox with labels, filters and themes, making it super easy to stay organized. Spam filtering is top notch, keeping your inbox free from unwanted emails. Searching for emails is fast and easy thanks to Google's powerful search engine. You can also manage multiple email addresses from one central location in Gmail. There are thousands of add-ons and extensions available to enhance your Gmail experience, but best of all, it's completely free. So how to create a new Gmail account? If you're already signed in, then you can create an account directly by clicking on your face and adding another account. Otherwise, just go on the Google account creation page. Fill out the form with your name, chosen username and password. When choosing an email address, it's important to make sure it's representative, easy to remember and looks professional. For business purposes, your email should make a very good first impression and reduce the risk of being marked as spam. Avoid impersonating brands or celebrities and don't use long or random combinations of letter and numbers. Your email is your public address on the internet, so keep it credible and trustworthy. The common convention is to use a combination of your name and surname, like Laura Smith. If it's already taken, you can switch things up by using variations like swapping the order, or even adding the number or name of your company. However, Gmail doesn't distinguish between the presence of periods, so Laura.Smith is the same as Laura Smith. When you're all done, just click on next. Then enter your phone number and keep your phone nearby to receive a six digit security code via text message. You can then verify your phone number. Choose the personalization settings and click next. Confirm the settings and cookies. Agree to the privacy and terms. Once you do that, you have successfully created your new Gmail account and should expect a welcome email from the Gmail team. To then access your email, just click on Google Apps and click on Gmail. Allow smart features in Gmail chat and meet to use your data. Click next and then click on personalize and then you're done. With a Gmail account, you can access Google Docs, Google Sheets, Slides and Calendar. You can also access thousands of add-ons available on the Google Market Space to enhance your Gmail experience. Our top pick for boosting productivity and improving your email sending skills is MailMeteor. MailMeteor allows you to easily send personalized emails through Gmail, saving you time. You can also track the status of your emails in real time. It prioritizes user privacy and has a user-friendly interface to help you manage your emails more efficiently. Plus, MailMeteor is recommended by Google as part of the recommended for Google Workspace program. For more information, you can find out more by clicking on the link available in the description. Now let's talk about tips and tricks for your email account. Now that you created a new Gmail account, you'll want to customize it and learn a few pointers to make the best out of your experience. So here's a list of some really handy tips and tricks for your Gmail. First, let's talk about the shortcut cheat sheet. Go into your Gmail and hit shift and question mark. Now you can see every Gmail shortcut available. To customize your keyboard shortcuts in Gmail, follow these steps. Click on settings, then click on see all settings, click on advanced, and then scroll down to custom keyboard shortcuts. Make sure you enable it. Uh, 
and save changes. To manage multiple email accounts from one place, you can add them to your Gmail account. To do that, just click on settings again, see all settings, and then click on accounts and import. Now scroll down, and then you want to make sure you add an email account right here. Just type in the external email address you want to link and follow the prompts to complete the setup. And last but not least, have you ever sent an email only to realize it had a typo or it was missing an attachment? Well, Gmail's undo send feature allows you to recall an email before it's too late. Here's how to use it and customize the time delay on desktop. To do that, go on settings, see all settings. And in general, here, you'll find the undo send button. You can personalize the seconds to increase them up to 30 seconds. When you're all set, don't forget to save.